Big is a vague word, and like the word itself, most of the time we take large things for granted simply because we cannot visualize them in our heads, and that has to change. I've gathered a whole load of amazing examples, and with them, I'm going to show you just how big they really are. Amazing. Most of us only see photographs of rockets, so it's difficult to fully appreciate their size without being there in person. And unfortunately, they're insanely expensive due to the fact that boosters are destroyed when used. However, Elon Musk and SpaceX are bringing down the cost of space travel by using reusable rocket stages. Take a look at their reusable side boosters for the SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket. They look like mere sticks once they're up in the sky, but on land, you truly get to appreciate their size. And they're merely the strap-on boosters to the central core, which is itself a giant. At 70 meters tall, the complete Falcon Heavy is much larger than the Statue of Liberty and even taller than the Space Shuttle. In terms of weight, it's 1,421 tons, which is the equivalent to about 280 African elephants. Now for an iconic masterpiece, Michelangelo's Statue of David. Everyone's seen it online and in books, but its sheer size probably eluded you. As this photo shows, two people need to climb up just to reach the upper half of the five meter tall statue. Have you seen the General Sherman tree? It's the largest known living single stem tree. Here's how tall the tree is compared to humans. It's 83.8 meters tall, equal to 19 coach buses stacked on top of one another. And while it's not the tallest tree, it's the largest with a trunk having a volume of 1,487 cubic meters, big enough to fill 9,844 baths, equivalent to one bath every day for 27 years. The blue whale is the largest animal known to have ever existed, but have you ever put into perspective just how big it is? Probably not, so here's a little mind-blowing breakdown. A blue whale can reach a length of 30 meters, which is huge when compared to this 22.86 meter long boat. That boat is already carrying at least 30 people, yet it's dwarfed by a single marine mammal. By weight, it's colossal too. The largest blue whale weighs around 181 metric tons, which by comparison is equal to the weight of 40 elephants, weighing four and a half metric tons each, or 2,667 humans, each weighing 70 kilograms. In terms of length, the longest one comes in equivalent to about three school buses, or 17 times the length of an average human. If you ever want to feel insignificant, go swim next to one. And since the blue whale is the largest animal in the world, its body parts should be huge as well, right? This is a replica of a blue whale's heart, which averages roughly one and a half meters in diameter and weighs over 180 kilograms, equivalent to 532 cans of Spam. Ever heard of Dallas? They're reinforced concrete blocks meant to protect land areas against strong waves that cause erosion. They basically form a seawall and look like tiny plastic toys or oddly shaped breakfast cereal, but Dallas are huge. Look closely and you'll see how tiny a man standing on one is. A single Dallas can weigh up to 80 tons, equal to 725 adult female giant pandas. Ever wondered how big a comet is? Our solar system has hundreds of comets, and one of them is Rosetta's Comet. This comet has a dimension of 4.3 by 4.1 kilometers. It's hard to imagine, so this is what Rosetta's Comet looks like when placed right above the city of Los Angeles, which has a total area of 1,302 kilometers square. If you think that's huge, remember that space rock that wiped out the dinosaurs? The asteroid that caused the mass extinction had a diameter of 10 to 15 kilometers, more than twice the size of Rosetta's Comet, and longer than the 8.84 kilometer tall Mount Everest. Have you gone on a cruise before? While the RMS Titanic is still the most famous ship due to its history and film adaptation, it's dwarfed by today's vessels. Of course, bigger isn't always better. After all, it's not the size of the boat, it's the motion of the ocean. Still, the title of the largest passenger ship in the world now belongs to the Royal Caribbean Symphony of the Seas. This ship is more than 90 meters longer than the Titanic, and at a length of 362.1 meters, it's equivalent to about four Statue of Liberty sculptures placed over one another. Look at how much wider and taller it is compared to the Titanic. Now for the largest aircraft carrier in the world, 
the USS Gerald R. Ford, which is nearly 25 meters shorter than the Symphony of the Seas. However, it's taller at almost 76 meters. But if you're looking for the longest and heaviest ship ever built, it's the Seawise Giant. This ULCC super tanker sunk during the Iran-Iraq War but it was restored and continued operating until December 2009. It had a dead weight of 564,673 tons and a length of 458.4 meters, 96.3 meters more than the Symphony of the Seas. Now let me introduce you to the Leatherback Turtle. Much smaller than a ship, but it's the largest of all living turtles. Having an upper shell made of skin and oily flesh instead of the usual bony shell, the leatherback turtle can reach a length of 2.12 meters and a weight of 698.5 kilograms, as heavy as 11 adult humans. The United Arab Emirates is home to some of the most spectacular man-made structures in the world, including the Presidential Palace in Abu Dhabi. With an area of more than 185,000 square meters, or equivalent to about 34 football fields, you could spend a week inside without having explored its entire area. Have you read The Little Prince? It's one of the best books of all time, and it mentions baobab trees. While the book made them appear cute, baobab trees can grow up to nearly 30 meters tall, with a trunk up to almost 11 meters in diameter. Another plant that deserves a second look is bamboo. This grass plant has small size varieties, but you also have to acquaint yourself with the mighty dragon bamboo. It usually grows to about 30 meters, but one was found to be 42 meters tall, about half the size of the Statue of Liberty. Everyone knows crocodiles are mighty predators, but just how big are they? Well, look at how small this woman is next to a seawater crocodile. It packs a ferocious bite, but you can get near one by participating in crocodile cage diving, which is offered in South Africa at Kango Ranch. Females can reach 3.5 meters, while males can grow even larger at 5.2 meters in length. Then there's the giant African land snail. Instead of being a small, inconspicuous mollusk resting on a leaf, this is an invasive species capable of growing up to 20 centimeters in length. Wolves look fluffy and obedient like domesticated dogs, but their average size is far greater than most dog breeds. Average gray wolf measures 1.6 meters in length, with the heaviest one found in Alaska at a weight of 79 kilograms. In fact, even coyotes don't stand a chance against wolves in terms of size, with their weight averaging only 18.1 kilograms compared to a wolf's 40 kilograms. These are shells that were used by warships, tanks, and artillery during the First World War. Even the smallest ones were deadly, with 280 millimeter shells already weighing 300 kilograms, while the 460 millimeter shells fired by battleships weighed more than 1,500 kilograms, equivalent to the weight of 24 adult humans. Tombs are creepy, but some of them can be downright majestic. At the Madain Saleh archaeological site in Saudi Arabia, you can find the Qasr al-Farid, which is the largest tomb in the area. There are no exact measurements of the tomb, but looking at how it towers over the person walking nearby should give you a good clue. What's the tallest door you've seen? There's no way it's bigger than the one at the Hassan II Mosque in Casablanca, Morocco. It is the largest mosque in the country and the fifth biggest in the world. Its minaret measuring 210 meters high is the tallest in the world and is 80 meters taller than the Great Pyramid of Giza. Likewise, the doors at the National Archives in Washington, D.C. are pretty spectacular, with a height of 11.45 meters, or about two adult male giraffes. Now, King Kong might not be real, but gorillas are still huge. A male gorilla can weigh up to 430 pounds, equivalent to the weight of seven people, and reach a height of nearly 1.82 meters. Plus, a gorilla's hand can be nearly 30 centimeters long. Sunflowers are pretty, but also pretty huge. Giant sunflowers, for instance, easily reach a height between 3 to 6 meters, with the current world record being 9.17 meters, equivalent to the height of two female adult giraffes. Up next, you'll be glad this bear's already extinct. The short-nosed bear was a ferocious creature that roamed North America up to 11,000 years ago. These bears easily weighed 900 kilograms, equivalent to 200 adult cats, and the biggest short-nosed bears were 3.65 meters tall. 
ancient history is filled with grand structures, and one of them is the Temple of Jupiter. Unfortunately, it's no longer around, but there are still massive remnants of its 30 meter high columns, equivalent to nine African elephants, that stand tall in contrast to the smaller Temple of Bacchus in the background. Fully grown wombats are huge. Check this guy out. Wombats are native to Australia and can reach 101.6 centimeters in length and weigh up to 36 kilograms. Moving on, airplanes are huge flying machines, but some are bigger than others. The Strata Launch is the world's largest airplane by wingspan, measuring 117.3 meters, which is 7.5 meters longer than an American football field. Expect this to take flight in 2019. Chains are tough, but this one is more formidable. An anchor chain is what people in the shipping industry use to hold down vessels or even offshore platforms. It's not unusual for container ships to have anchor chains with every single link weighing 226.8 kilograms each, equivalent to three wild boars. And speaking of offshore platforms, this is the base of the Bullwinkle offshore steel oil platform being carried by several large vessels. It is 529 meters tall, just nine meters shy of being as long as two Titanic ships, which makes it much taller than the Eiffel Tower. Here's what $10,000 in 100s looks like compared to $10,000 in ones. Same amount, less quantity. The eagle is one of the most beautiful birds in the world, but it's also scary up close. Here's what an eagle talon looks like next to a human hand. A harpy eagle's talons can reach 10 centimeters in length, which is as long as a grizzly bear's claws. With talons that big, it's no wonder there's such a thing as the monkey-eating eagle. Speaking of birds, here's the extinct Kaatsalcodilus northropi, the largest known flying animal of all time, with a wingspan of about 10 meters, equivalent to three African bush elephants. Did you know that human lungs typically weigh 1.3 kilograms? That seems heavy, but not as much as horse lungs, which grow this huge when fully inflated. No wonder horses can take in up to 18.95 kilograms, or five gallons of air every second. Another quadruped creature is the moose, which has an average height of 2.1 meters and a length of 3.2 meters. Female moose can weigh up to 360 kilograms, while males can reach up to 700 kilograms, which is the equivalent to the weight of three male adult lions. When you're out on the road, you must abide by traffic rules and follow road signs. You'd think these signs are small, but some are made large enough for drivers to see from far, far away like this one. Similarly, the picturesque wind turbines you see in pictures are massive up close. Here's a single blade of a wind turbine that can measure around 35 meters in length. Here's the Mir Mine, located in the town of Mirny in Russia. Due to its size, the town looks like a close-up of a motherboard. The Mir Mine is 1,188 meters wide, longer than three Symphony of the Seas cruise ships. It's also 524.86 meters deep equivalent to about 175 floors. Mir Mine is already massive, but the largest in the world is the Bingham Canyon Mine. It has a pit 970 meters deep and four kilometers wide, which is nearly as long as 15 Titanic ships. Try climbing out of that. How many Earths can fit inside the sun? We'll take a look at this photo of Earth compared to Jupiter. It's so small that 1,300 Earths can fit inside Jupiter. But if you look at this photo, even Jupiter pales in comparison to the sun. So how many Jupiters carrying 1,300 planet Earths each can fit into the sun? The answer is 1,000. So all in all, the sun can fit a staggering 1.3 million Earths inside. So this transparent ball with tiny blue balls is a good visual representation. And if you thought that was interesting, you'll be amazed by what would happen if humans tried to land on Jupiter. Check this video out on screen now to find out the answer. Also, which big thing were you surprised about most? Let me know in the comments section down below, and thanks for watching.